It's time to end your addiction to the snooze button. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. You asked us questions on the internet. Facebook, Twitter, all types of places. We're gonna answer them. Hopefully you'll be satisfied. If the, not, the questions find are, a new source. The questions are requests for advice. If you don't like our advice, Ask your parents, ask your friend, ask some, ask a your, man on the street, a bum, ask a bum, I don't care. Your girlfriend. Ati, if you're dating a bum, all the better. Ati Huzvik asks on Twitter, Link, I need some advice on how to get up early without pressing the snooze button for a million times. Now it's interesting, my alarm didn't go off at all this morning. That's probably which, an exaggeration. Which is why, no, it didn't go off at all. No, a million times, that oh. nobody does that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Uh, that's why I was late to pick you up. Yeah, yeah, I waited on the curb like a I, little boy. I am pretty Where's much Link? addicted to the snooze button on my phone. I have, to, the, I have to find it and then hit the little snooze thing on my phone yeah. on the bedside. Frustrating. I have 30 minutes of snoozing every morning. I'm ready to break the cycle. Um, 30 minutes a day, huh? Yeah, it's, it's a problem. You're weak. So I've been thinking about this. I'm glad that you ask, IT. Um, I, I think that we, because I'm talking about us here, this is a problem we can solve together. Okay. I think we need to have a punitive snooze button. When you hit the snooze button, it punishes you. Like it shocks you. If my phone or if your alarm clock could really inflict pain, it's Pavlovian, you know? Pavlovian? Wouldn't you just get, all, wouldn't you just get rid of the snooze button? Like take it off of it? Like don't have a well, snooze then you button? Well then you'd never wake up. But if you're not gonna press it, it's like it's not even there. That's, That's true. just an observation. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get up, I guess. You're saying I would just sleep. There's, well, a, you... there's a weakness in your plan. Yeah. You wanna okay. hear what I got? Uh, oh yeah, you got something better. I, I, I think you got to move away from the mechanism altogether. Okay. You know, I think you cannot rely on the machine, you have to rely on a person, mm. i.e. wake up call. People will let you down, right? Not according to my plan. First of all, if you're a rich person, most of you are not, you can get somebody, you can call, you can get a wake up call service that's really loud and annoying and they will, they will keep calling you until you get up and be like, listen, are you up? Hey, hey, hey buddy, hey, get up. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like at a hotel room, but in your house? Yeah, a very offensive wake up call services, look it up. Now, most people can't afford that, but what you can't afford is blackmail. And what I mean by that is you find a friend who, you, you, everyone knows something about a friend that they don't wanna get out to the public. Blackmail a friend into being your wake-up caller. Like pictures. So, I'm, so get, some, get some pictures of them. You're now my wake-up caller. That's that's that was where I was going with. You got this. nothing. On, you got nothing. I on got you. a lot on you. You have you have photos. I I think it I think it should be we, you should create a life or death situation that when if you were to hit the snooze, it would no no no. Let's get rid of the snooze and let's just say when your alarm clock goes off because you said get rid of the snooze. Okay. The alarm clock as it goes off it lights a fuse which then leads to something in, that will incinerate your whole house. The if, snooze fuse? The snooze fuse. That if you don't get up. Snoozefuse.com, get it, Link, now. If, if you don't get up and put out the fuse, you're, you, there's gonna be a fire. Really? Yeah, and that's an ugly way to go. Great idea, Link, you redeemed yourself. Uh, KM. Do we have another one? K. Malad asks on Twitter. Yeah, I have so much free time. Need some ideas of something productive I can do. You've got time to write, yeah. Yeah, I have so much free time. Yeah. I think they were like, yeah, I got a question. Yeah, I got so much free time and he's foam sculpture. Um, it's something I've been meaning to get into. It's something I don't have time for. I, seriously, I don't know how I stumbled across this. Foam sculpture. Yeah. So you don't have free time, but you have enough time to stumble upon something called Foam sculpture. It was so amazing. Just search foam, just Google foam sculpture. What is it? It's foam sculpture. What do you mean foam sculpture? You get a block of foam and then you get this hot wire and you run it through and it cuts it like butter and you can make, mm. and you can make dinosaurs, you can make anything that you can imagine and then you paint it. What, what, whoa, I, I, whoa, I, hey, I, hold on now, this is like the best idea I've ever had. Well, I, I think you need to do something, if you have free time, you need to do something for the betterment of society. People love art. You need to come up with a cause that you can build a movement around something. Like, uh, here's the thing I thought of as an example. Edible popsicle sticks. Start a movement, when you get down to that popsicle stick, that it's not wooden, 
You just hope you just keep on eating. No, that makes society better. You can start a Facebook group or whatever the kids do these There's days. There's no way that that hasn't already been done because no. it's such a good idea. Yeah, I, I know. Like the snooze. I googled it, and some some middle schooler has invented it already. So poof, too late. You missed you missed the boat on the edible popsicle sticks. But th that's my point exactly. He had free time. The middle schooler came up with it. You can be a zillionaire if you come up with something that the society wants. A little movement. You asked for the mail song to come back. We do have some mail, and we're going to give you the mail song. You know, where the, you know <laughs> what day it is. You That's know right. what day it is. It's Thursday. And Thursday means mail. If something's really meaningful to you, uh, you can snail mail it to us. You can write a song about something. That's something um, you can do in your free time. Uh, Rhettandlink.com slash contact is where you get the information to do that. Dear Rhett and Link, my name is Connor Marshall from Houston, Texas. I dreamt that we, Rhett, Link, and myself, were doctors in the delivery room. I at first was shocked to see y'all, and then was even more shocked to discover we were delivering babies. Shocking. Knowing y'all as who you are, I ask if it was a good idea for us to be delivering babies. Good question. This was Rhett's response to my question. Quote, we're from the South. <clears throat> End quote. Can you interpret this dream? Yes. Connor, I am glad that you have uh, shared this with us. And um, first of all, judging by your, by your handwriting here. Um, Adolescent. You don't look like you're old enough to have made babies yourself um, or to um, be an obstetrician. Well, I think that's, you know, that, that, that's where the amateur dream interpreter would go on this one, Link. They would say, okay, he, this guy has a dream to be an obstetrician. No, no, no. Nobody actually dreams to, to do that. It just kind of happens after you go to medical school and run out of ideas. Really, what this is about is that Connor feels like a baby himself. Uh, he feels like... No, don't talk to me. Talk to Connor. Connor, you feel I like... Can... Connor, you feel like a baby. And you are looking to deliver yourself to the next stage of life. And you're scared. You, you lack a little confidence. It's okay. We all go there sometimes. And the thing that you're hoping you can hold on to is the fact that you're from the South. And let me tell you, son, you can bank on that. It's going to help you. It makes you a better person than all the other people from the North or the West. It's the best place in the world. And it should give you the confidence to move with, with confidence to the next stage of life. And if that is to be an obstetrician, boy, you go for it. We'll be there when you deliver your first baby. That's why we're there, because at that point in your life, we'll show up somehow. I don't know how that's going to happen, but we will be manifested. And we will be manifested? <laughs> none, of that, none of that was solid. I, I think ultimately... What? He has a desire for Southerners to deliver their own babies like these West Coasters do. You know, out here, uh, women deliver their babies in bathtubs without the aid of... They just have these things called doulas. Free birthing. That's not a Southern thing. No, free birthing. We go to the doctor. Solo. Huh. Did we spin the, the mythical mail boulder? No, let's do that. We it have something It should be spun. Yeah. You, can, you can mail us something here. Now listen, here's the deal. Um, I don't know if we said this before, but we are going to select one thing every week that we're going to highlight. Everything you send us for the mail boulder goes on the mail boulder, but we're going to highlight one thing a week, and that person who we highlight wins a prize. And ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this is the prize. Whoa. Look at this. The official Good Mythical oh, Morning poster. Molly. Signed that. by us will yep. be mailed to you in a tube. You can hang it on your wall proudly. And you can also pick Square these up. up. You can also pick these up yourself at dftba.com. We got the link in the description. Uh, you can you can get to that and buy it yourself. You All don't right. have to just win. Allison Backus from Lakeview, Arkansas, sent us squirrel earrings. Allison, congratulations! You win the first ever uh, poster, and we're gonna put these squirrel earrings on the mythical mail boulder. I'm gonna wear them. I still got holes from my old college days. They smell good. Here, smell those. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Nigel from Chad's Ford, Pennsylvania, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Submit your ideas for the wheel of mythicality anywhere that you can find a spot on the internet to get our attention. Twitter, Thank Facebook, etc. Yeah. Thanks to Kendrick Kidd for designing that uh, shark attack. poster. Shark attack? How many? Uh... You know, I'm sure glad there's no water in here because uh, if there was, I have a feeling there'd be sharks. I have a meaning to tell you this. 
my, my pinky toe is bleeding because of, I went a little too aggressive on the toenail clippers. So we've been out here for a while, but I've been- Out here a, what? Out here in the ocean. Oh, we're on the ocean. Yeah, and there's a steady stream of blood. I've been leaking the whole time. But well, you know, that, that's not... how we can find our way back. Look that way, that's the way no, back. A shark coming at us! Oh. Oh. Kill the shark! You think that this is a pair of hands from well, the here, same give squirrel? Them, give them to me. What are you, like a squirrel expert? Same squirrel. Really? Well, what happened to the rest of the squirrel, I think is the question. <laughs>